Concentration is an important phenomenon in chemistry. It is used to indicate quantitative measurement of a substance, whereas solubility is the ability of a solute to dissolve in a solvent. Meaning to say, this solubility and concentration are important topics that discusses solutions. If the solubility of material is high in a solvent, then its concentration will be high in the solution. Similarly, if the solubility is low, concentration will be low. But how are we really going to define solubility and concentration? What is the difference between the two? Is knowledge about solubility and concentration important in our lives? Both of these things are similar and that they shared the same units. Units of concentration can be molarity, which is moles per liter. In this video, we are going to use grams per liter. It could be molality, normality, these are different forms of concentration. Solubility and concentration can be described in any one of these units. If solubility and concentration shared the same units, how are they different? Concentration tells you how much stuff you have in the solution that is dissolved in a solution per liter or per something, typically per liter of a solution. Solubility tells you the most that you can dissolve per liter of a solution at any given temperature. It could be per 100 milliliters of a solution. It doesn't have to be per liter of a solution. Concentration can be an infinite number of values. Solubility has one specific value. In the example, the solution of KNO3 at 20 degrees Celsius is 330 grams per liter. The concentration can be anything. The concentration can be 250 grams per liter, it can be 167 grams per liter or 400 grams per liter, it can even be 330 grams per liter. The concentration tells you the situation and the solution. It tells you exactly how many grams of solute is dissolved in the solution per liter. The solubility tells you the most that you can dissolve per liter at a given temperature. So the solubility is the concentration that you can achieve by dissolving something in a solution at a certain temperature. That's what the solubility is. Before we work on the problem, let's talk about the difference between unsaturated solution, saturated solution, and a supersaturated solution. What are the difference between those three? Whenever the concentration is less than the solubility, the type of solution that you have is unsaturated solution. In this case, concentration is less than the solubility. Whenever the concentration is equal to the solubility, the solution is said to be saturated. So, concentration is equal to the solubility. At this point, you dissolve the maximum amount of solute that you could dissolve at a given temperature. When you reach the point where you can't dissolve any more solute in water or whatever the solvent is, then it's said that the solution is saturated. If you want to keep adding more solute, here's what's gonna happen some of the solute will be dissolved in water. And once you start seeing some undissolved solid left over at the bottom of the container, then that tells you you have a saturated solution. If the solid is no longer disappearing, if that mass is not changing, then you have a saturated solution. There's no point adding more solute it's not gonna dissolve. So the solution is simply going to increase the mass of the undissolved materials. Now, whenever the concentration exceeds the solubility, you have a supersaturated solution. In this case, 
concentration is greater than the solubility. So if there is a limit to how much we could dissolve in water, how is it possible to get the supersaturated solution? We'll talk about it later in the video. When you have an unsaturated solution, if you add more solute, that's how you would dissolve. So an unsaturated solution favors dissolution. Whenever you have supersaturated solution, if you add more solute, it can favor precipitation so the solution may crystallize into a solid. When saturated, the solution is in equilibrium. If you add more solute, nothing's gonna happen. It's not gonna dissolve any more solute. It's just gonna sink in the bottom. Remember, the solution is associated with unsaturated solution. Supersaturated solution is associated with precipitation. And if it's saturated, it's associated with equilibrium. Now let's move on with the problem at hand. The solubility of potassium nitrate at 20 degrees Celsius and 700 degrees Celsius is 330 grams per liter and 1,300 grams per liter respectively. Calculate the concentration of each solution and determine if the solution is unsaturated, saturated, or supersaturated. Part A, 50 grams of potassium nitrate in 250 milliliters of water at 20 degrees Celsius. Part B, 165 grams in 500 milliliters at 20 degrees Celsius. Part C, 300 grams in 400 milliliters. And Part D, 250 grams in 200 milliliters at 70 degrees Celsius and slowly cooled to 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, so to determine the concentration in units of grams per liter, we need to take the grams, which is 50 grams, and divide it by 250 milliliters. Or rather, we need to convert 250 to liters so 1000 milliliters is equivalent to one liter so to convert 250 milliliters to liter we need to divide 250 by 1000 so that's 0 0.25 liters so 50 grams divided by 0 0.25 liters is equivalent to 200 grams per liter okay so the concentration is 200 grams per liter so i'm gonna make a table let's make a table here so the first column is the temperature then concentration then solubility and then the type of solution So for part A, we have 20 degrees Celsius. The solubility is 330 grams per liter. The concentration is 200 grams per liter. So on part A, the temperature is 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, and the concentration is 50 grams divided by 0 0.25 liters. That is 200 grams per liter. The solubility at 20 degrees Celsius is 330 grams per liter. Notice that the concentration is less than the solubility. Therefore, is the solution unsaturated? Is it saturated or supersaturated? Because the concentration is less than the solubility, we have an unsaturated solution.
What about part B? Feel free to comment down below if the concentration on part B is saturated, unsaturated, or super saturated. Okay? Um, part B is 165 grams in 500 milliliters at 20 degrees Celsius. So, what's the solution? The solubility is dependent upon the temperature for the most part as the temperature increases, the solubility of most ionic compounds would increase. Not all but most of them, okay? So, the solubility um, will remain 330. Now, we gotta find the concentration. Notice that the concentration is equal to the solubility. Therefore, the solution is saturated. So the solubility will remain 330 grams per liter. Now we get to find the concentration. So it's going to be 165 grams divided by 0 0.5 liters. That is because 500 milliliters is equivalent to 0 0.5 liters. And that is equal to 330 grams per liter. So our concentration is 330 grams per liter. Notice that the concentration is equal to the solubility. Therefore, the solution is saturated what about part c this is still at 20 degrees celsius as i i just forgot to write down the 20 degrees celsius but the temperature is still 20 degrees celsius Okay, go ahead and determine what type of solution we have. Comment down for your answer. So if we take 300 grams and divide it by 0 0.4, so 300 grams divided by 0 0.4 liters, this will give us 750 mm -hmm. 750 grams per liter. Now the solubility is still 330 grams per liter because the temperature is the same. So what is the concentration? Is it 750 grams per liter? It turns out that it is 750 grams per liter. Um, because this um, temperature is the maximum that we could dissolve is the solubility. So the concentration is, is still 330 grams per liter. So we still have a saturated solution. Okay, so here is the question for you. How many grams is dissolved? How many grams of solute is in the solid state? Because we try to dissolve more than we could. So some of it is dissolved and some of it remains at the bottom. How can we figure out how much is in the solid state? First, we need to start with the volume of the water. In part C, we have 400 milliliters, which is equivalent to... 0.4 liters of water. Now, the concentration is 330 grams per liter. So, if I multiply these two together, 0.4 times over 1 times 330 grams per liter. Mm -hmm. Over... One liter and there. So we need to cancel that. Okay, it will give us the grams of solute that is actually 
didn't dissolve in water. So 0 0.4 times 330 is 132. 132 grams. So only 132 grams of solute is in the aqueous phase. So the rest is in the solid phase. To find the rest, take 300 grams, the total amount that we put in the container, minus 132 and 132 or the solute that are actually dissolved. 300 um, minus 132 is 168. Right, so we have 168 grams of solid remains in the solid phase. So if we keep adding more, this number will increase. Okay, this number will increase the 168 grams, but the 132 grams will not change. So if we have a container here okay and we put um, 300 grams of solute so the 132 or the 300 grams of um, particles the 132 grams will be the solute 132 grams will be the solute and the ones that will remain at the bottom is 168 grams. So even if we keep adding more um, particles, the 132 grams will not change, but the 168 grams will change. It will add up, right? What about the part D? We're gonna um, break part D into two parts. First, the temperature is 70 degrees Celsius at um, at 70 degrees Celsius, the solubility is 1,300 grams per liter and that temperature, we're dissolving um, 250 grams in 200 milliliters which is 0 0.2 liters. So 250 divided by 0 0.2 liters is 1,250 grams per liters. Since the concentration is less than the solubility, so we have um, 70 degrees Celsius the solubility is 1,300 grams per liter. So we have the concentration of 1,250 grams per liters. So since the concentration is less than the solubility, C is less than S, um, so what we have is unsaturated solution. Now, we're going to cool the solution down to 20 degrees Celsius. If we decrease the temperature, the solubility decreases. And so the solubility is back to 330 grams per liter however we still have 1250 grams per liter dissolved in a solution so the concentration is still the same this is one where concentration is greater than the solubility so we have a super saturated solution Okay, so that's all for today. I hope you have learned something new today. Goodbye and God bless, juniors.